Welcome, Aries and Crosswalkers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please keep in mind time is fluid, so whenever you view this, it may represent a past, a present, or a future event for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. There are always timestamps in the description box if you would ever like to skip ahead. For Aries, Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus, please spirit in love and in life. All right, Aries, I'm going to read your energy at the top and there's at the bottom, but this is general, so it can be flipped or reversed. We have the King of Wands with the Four of Wands. Whew, okay, what have you found yourself into? We have the King of Pentacles here with the Six of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Cups. And the Queen of Cups, my goodness, what is this? We have the Seven of Wands with the Four of Swords. We have the Hierophant with the King of Cups, my gosh. We have the Two of Swords uh -huh. and the Three of Wands, okay. Under the deck here, we have the Nine of Swords. So somebody's a little bit nervous. You could make this person very nervous. They can make you a little nervous, okay? But this is somebody's kind of in their head about something. They're a little bit, you know, like I said, they don't really know what to expect or what to do. They don't want to say the wrong thing. They're kind of overthinking the situation, kind of in their head about it. Okay, cards are already coming out. We have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. Any additional messages? Okay, we have codependency. Okay, cards are coming out. We have free yourself and love yourself first. So I feel like someone has left a situation that was really unhealthy. This could have been you, this could have been them, could be both of you. Um, it was a very toxic codependent relationship. You decided to kind of love yourself first and manifest new love. And that is exactly what you've done. You have manifested new love. Now this person and you are trying to defend off some of these past energies. I feel like this could be an ex coming back for you, Aries, or your person who's just kind of like, baby, I still want to be with you. I haven't forgot about you, but you're just kind of like, um, no, I'm happy and I've done moved on with someone else. All right, starting off here. In your energy, we have the King of Wands. So you could be dealing with a fellow fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Um, I mean, you're male or female, it doesn't matter. I mean, you see this person as a King of Wands. I mean, you see them as just like everything you could look for in a partner. I mean, this person's fun, they're exciting, they match your energy, you're really attracted to this person. I feel like this person's very strong. Mentally, physically, emotionally, this person's very strong. This person's very protecting, I want to say. I think that you like that. I think that you really like feeling safe with someone, male or female. Like, this person looks out for you. And that's what's really important here for you. You want somebody that you can build a foundation with. And you may have felt like you, maybe you felt you, like you found your twin flame, or this is, you know, your soulmate. You feel this divinely guided connection. Four of Wands, 11, 11. I mean, this is just someone that you want by your side, okay? You want to build something with this person. You feel this sense of, I don't know, weightlessness when you're with this person. It's kind of like all the stresses of day-to-day -day crap just kind of <laughs> fades away. I'm sorry that I'm laughing, but it's kind of just a strange sensation that I'm feeling. Like, I don't think I've ever felt this at ease before. So I don't know, like, for you guys, if that's just what you're experiencing right now or if that's what they're experiencing, maybe both of you. It just feels like really effortless. You know, it's just like, wow, you know, how do I feel so comfortable with this person all of a sudden? Maybe it took you quite a long time to find a connection like that. Now, this person could have heavy earth in their chart. We do have the King of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. But the King of Pentacles is someone that you see, I mean, you see long term with this person. This person could be older than you. Okay, this person could be like a boss or business owner. This person could work very hard. Uh, but this person definitely is very loyal, very dedicated, very committed kind of energy. I feel like this person is very generous with their money, okay? I feel like you are as well. I feel like that's material things don't really matter so much to you, but I do feel like this person likes to shower you with gifts. I don't know if you've already met this person. Some of you could just be meeting them, okay? But I do feel like um, there's just this... I mean, I've got... what I don't know why I want to point this out, but I have fire, fire, earth, earth, water, water. There's just like such a symmetrical balance between like your passion, your stability, your love with this person. It's just like... You fit in so many categories. It's very strange how I feel that. Um, with the Ace of Cups here and the Queen of Cups, I mean, this is a new beginning in love. This is a very new connection, and it feels really good. Uh, when I say very new, I feel like a year or less, okay? I mean, again, for some of you, time energy is fluid. This could resonate as a situation from yesterday, five months ago, two years from now, right? Um, 
but this person's seeing you i mean you're coming through like the queen of cups like you want to nurture this person look out for this person male or female queen of cups is intuitive she can be empathic she's very healing okay queen of cups the kind of person you want to get guidance and support from i mean this person they see you as just you know it's just this major balance this balance of emotions and stability and passion i mean like it's checking all the boxes it's checking them all this person what i really feel though is like they're very nervous that someone's going to come and take you away from them for some reason so i don't know if there's a past person who's still really hung up over you it's kind of like they want to protect you in this family that you guys have built some of you could already have kids but this person's building something with you okay they're very protective over you and i really get that strong sense with this king of wands here um this person it's like they i don't know why okay listen 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 y'all y'all are gonna say mystic this is really specific okay i don't know why i want to say this but i gotta say it it's, it's right there in my mind okay so they may watch you sleep and like they like they're like looking out for you like i don't feel like there's immediate danger but they they're always kind of like worried that someone's gonna like come in and take like they're very they're very protective of you and vice versa um but they think about you a lot they think about you and how they want to be there for you it's uh it's very sweet it's like this person really likes you to know how strong they are we have the hair font here and the king of cups oh my gosh look at this energy uh, the hair font Taurus energy. Okay, so the hair font is a teacher. This is somebody that you can look up to and respect. This is someone who's very wise, very intelligent. Some people, so it could be some, a public figure or someone that he, you know people are. They're getting recognition from the public of some sort. Okay, this person could be older. Okay, very wise, like a mentor in some ways. But this person, they definitely see higher levels of commitment here. Okay, they definitely see stability with you. They want to build something here. Now we have the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups here in this reading. So definite soulmate energy here. Again, strong water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person, I mean, the, you guys are a match. A match for each other. You guys just balance each other out. I don't think it's... I honestly don't feel like you've ever kind of felt this way about somebody before. And it's like everything's starting to make sense. You know, why past relationships haven't worked out. And it's because finally you have somebody who actually appreciates and values you. That wants to protect you, look out for you. Not that I even feel like you need protecting. I feel like you take care of yourself. You guys are known to be very strong and independent. But this person, they definitely like to nurture you. They like, they like to be there for you. They like... And I think it's important for you to know that as well. They like being needed by you in an emotional way. They like, you know, you seeing how strong they are. You know, they like to know that you feel safe with them. That's important. And I feel like somebody here needs to know that. Um, we have the two of swords here and the three of wands. So I feel like this person's at kind of like this decision making point in their life of what they want to do here. They definitely feel like you have captivated them. Like you have their heart. Look at how that heart's kind of strung up on that tree. It's kind of like you've captured their heart and they can't get it back. They see a future with you. Now you guys actually could be at a distance from each other. That can be a bit of a problem, but they want to be with you. They're thinking about long term, how to move towards you. They're very nervous. It's kind of like they're always fearful they're going to lose you. Almost like they feel like you're an illusion or that, you know, they're dreaming you up in a sense we have cancer energy with the chariot there come i feel like there could be travel or a planned trip or something involved here with the chariot this is about movement we have the queen of swords so that's gemini libra aquarius i think that you have a really hard time opening up to people from past situations okay um you are freeing yourself from a very toxic relationship in the past for yourself time to take control of your life they could have done this as well addictions are affecting your romantic life there is someone here who's almost obsessed with you in a sense and i feel like this is a very strong past energy but you know you kind of stood up for yourself and walked away from something okay love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive and you have actually manifested and called in this soulmate energy your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together you've met this person maybe some of you have not physically met yet but i do feel like there's a need to come and see you, like a need to be close to you, to want to make you feel safe. I think they know some about your past situation, but you're still very guarded with your, you know, your past and some of that pain. This person definitely watches you. They look out for you. You make them very happy. We have the Page of Swords, more air, Leo energy, strongly with the Sun and the Strength card. I mean, this person, they, like I said, they want, they, they really, male or female, they want you to see how strong they are, how much they want this with you they want to make it work you are like this illuminated energy for them of just like abundance and happiness okay they 
they watch you they try to i don't i don't feel like it's in a creepy way but it's kind of like they want to make sure that you're okay they definitely want to take care of you um and i feel that's mutual i mean this is i think your best reading so far aries this is beautiful this is absolutely gorgeous um and i kind of feel like i kind of feel like pulling another card for you let me just see what needs to come through here if there's any advice or guidance here for you guys let me just pull one card okay <clears throat> One card here for Aries. So it says, playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. That is absolutely gorgeous. All right, Aries, this was your reading. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in booking a private reading with me, if you want to know what decks that I am using, if you want to follow me on Instagram, all of the links is always in the description box below. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.